That is the thing to which we attach most importance. Sir Roy, after your talk here on Sunday with President Chomley, do you feel he will return to Elizabethville for talks with Central Government Premier Abdullah and the United Nations, or do you think he will carry out his threat of scorched earth policy? Well, I think it's pretty certain that if reasonable guarantees can be given uh, President Chambi in regard to his own uh, personal safety and that of his ministers, I believe he will go back to Elizabethville for talks. On the question of a scorched earth policy, I think that could only arise once he was satisfied that there was no possibility of any successful negotiations. Having heard both the United Nations and Mr. Chombie's accounts of the fighting, which side do you believe was responsible for the start of it? Well, of course, there are always rights and wrongs, but I think one, does, one thing does stick out like a sore thumb, and that is the fact that there would have been no fighting had the United Nations not decided to remove what they described as the road uh, blockades, or stoppages, whatever they're called. And of course this is really the basic cause of the beginning of the struggle. It was a provocative act, I suppose, and that's where the thing stands. As far as Chomby himself is concerned, he told me personally that he participated in that helicopter incident and his troops told him that the helicopter was throwing out uh, hand grenades uh, on the people down below. And that, of course, led to them being shot at uh, by the Katangese soldiers. Would 